Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at variables in PHP. We're going to give a very basic overview of how we work with variables because it is actually extremely easy. Now, PHP is a loosely typed language, so we don't need to declare which type of data we're working with when we set variables. Um, so it's extremely easy as long as you understand the syntax. Uh, syntax, you can almost assign any value you like to a variable. Um, and it's extremely easy to pick up on this. So the first thing that we're going to do is perhaps just create a variable, assign a value or, or assign a couple of values and see what we can do with variables. So for example, if I was to say name, I use a dollar sign here and then I give an identifier to a variable uh, name or as a variable name. Now there are a couple of rules around this. So for example, I can't start a variable with a number uh, or in fact an integer. Um, I also can't start a variable with a, uh, a special character and uh, as well probably you know can't include a, um, a special character in a variable as well. So of course this does look a little strange and if we preview this in our browser we get an error. So best to probably stick to string values depending on your preference you can use something like uh, camel cap so for example first name first name or you could of course go ahead and use underscores they're perfectly valid in uh, in variable names but basically this is how we would declare and uh, and use a variable. So you saw there I used echo to just echo out a variable name or a variable value, sorry. Um, so in this case, what we can also do is we can do things like uh, numbers. So we can set an integer value to a number. We could also set a, um, a float value, so with a decimal point. Um, we can also set um, uh, a boolean so we could say for example um, working equals true or something like that so this is a boolean value so I mean a lot of this a lot of these are very very straightforward if you've worked with other programming languages before this makes sense but we can basically just assign any value we like to a variable and not have to declare its type it doesn't we don't need to do that that's because it is loosely typed so what we can do is also, um, it might make sense to go over the fact that if we echo out a number, what happens because we're we're outputting this to a page. But if we go ahead and refresh, um, you know, nothing happens. We, we output it and it effectively is put on the page as a, as a string value, uh, despite the fact it is an integer. Um, now we can also create new variables in PHP using other variables as we can in other languages. So for example, I could say uh, sentence equals my name is name and my age is age. And then I can go ahead and echo out this sentence. So that works as well. We're just basically creating a new variable, encompassing other variables and using them within this string. And that goes the same with numbers as well. When we're performing calculations on numbers, we could create a sum, a total from different variable values. Um, we can, of course, um, specifically define how we want a variable to um, to behave in terms of its type so we can actually cast variables to different types so for example I might say age but I want this to be a string um, this would be perfectly valid so we, we don't see any errors here um, and then when we go ahead and echo our age it works in exactly the same way like this now this is all well and good but what if you need to delve a little deeper and, and see how um, how different variables are set and and their their absolute or their their types so for example um, let's just put age back to 24.5 and let's go ahead and just get rid of all of this for now okay so we can use a, uh, a function if you like or a, a language construct called var dump now basically what this will do is it will tell us the data type and the value of a variable that we're working with so in this case you can see it says float and it says 24.5 which is the value of the variable now if we were to cast this to a string 
What we can then do is we can say refresh string gives us the length of the string and it gives us the value of the string as well. Of course, we can also cast to things like booleans. Uh, in this case, this would come as true because 24.5 uh, 24, uh, 24 is a true value. If I was to say something like bool zero, um, obviously this would be false because zero is false. So it's a good idea to play around with things like this. Um, casting, you can cast to any data type, um, but obviously it only makes sense in some areas. Um, but basically working with variables in PHP is extremely easy. Setting variables, um, creating new variables, concatenating, things like that. So, you know, it's, it's something that just comes naturally. You play around with it and you work out that you need to store values uh, in variables. And um, basically, that's it. So uh, we've looked at a couple of data types. There are, of course, more data types that can be assigned to variables. Um, but this is enough to sort of understand the very basics of, uh, of variables in PHP.